I'm in the Drobo booth, and I, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Drobo. I've got the Drobo FS being backed up from the uh, from the Drobo 5N. I'm sorry, the 5N. What is it? The 5N is going to the FS, and uh, we've been using these for years. We love being able to yank out a drive, stick in a new one. No no stoppage in service of the devices. But uh, I have Mr. Harrison. I forgot your first name. One Rod, more time. Rod. Rod. <laughs> He's told me three times. So Rod Harrison here from Drobo to talk about some uh, some really cool new services you have. Yeah. So a few weeks ago on April 5th, we released a service called My Drobo. And my Drobo is a, a service that lets you remotely access your Drobo from anywhere in the world via an Android app or iOS app or any browser. And on top of the my Drobo service, we've built a, 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 an app called Drobo Access. And Drobo Access is the uh, is the app I have on my phone right here. This is connected to my Drobo in my Drobo in my home in London. And you can access your files. You can create links to share files. You can create. Uh, you can put passwords on the links, you can put expiration dates on the links, so you have a lot of control and what it really gives you is a personal cloud solution. And the nice thing about Drobo Access is your files are on your premises, on your Drobo, under your control, not up in the cloud somewhere where you don't really know what's going on with them. I like that you called it personal cloud because a lot of people say it's a cloud. I said, well, a cloud really means it's somebody else's machine, but a personal cloud, that's a better definition. So my, my audience is very security conscious. We talk a lot about security issues. Uh, how are you? How is th this service getting into my house if I've got a lockdown router. All right, so we actually use a relay partner, uh, but in that relay, everything is still encrypted. So we encrypt end to end with AES-256, encrypts in the Drobo, decrypts in your phone or your, or your browser, and it's never decrypted in the relay. Now, you mentioned something about TLS at the relay? Yeah, we're using TLS v1.2, v1 so it's state-of-the-art encryption, and we're using RSA for key exchange, it's a 2K key, so it's the state-of-the-art encryption, it's the best you can get today. Those are all the right words, that's cool. for sure, I like that. So, can you actually play a movie or something that you've got on your Drobo? You can play a movie, uh, right now we'll download it, in a couple of weeks releasing a new version that will actually allow it to stream. Fantastic. And what is that product called? It's uh, it's a service called My Drobo, and the app is called Drobo Access. Drobo Access. So we can buy that in the Android store or the, or the uh, App Store. The service is free, and the iOS and the Android apps are ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. Ninety nine. Access to all of your data. Right? That's changed to a dollar. Oh, okay. See, you you're you're saving money right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So uh, right now you've got a uh, this is a uh, Drobo five N or five no. D connected via Thunderbolt. All right, and you've got how many movies are playing there continuously? Uh, I think there's 10 or 11 high def movies, something like that. Wow. So as he's like a fit on my screen. So this is, uh, by the way, this is also audio. So he's got the, the 5D plugged in over Thunderbolt to a Mac with, I don't know, like nine movies playing here continuously. And you said you were going to do a scary demo where it's. Oh, yeah. Uh, so if we, get, if we get this out of the way here. I can uh, I can show you that if a hard drive fails, I can. Oh, no, I, he's taking the cover plate off. He's pulling the drive. Just pull a drive right out. That drive has definitely failed. Uh, the Drobo is still playing all the movies, nothing skipped, didn't drop the frame. And that, I lied, I said nine, there's more than nine. Yeah, I think there's more than nine. And it'll email you that something's gone wrong, it'll pop up an alert, as you can see in the screen there, to tell you something's gone wrong. Uh, and it'll, it'll just keep going, it's just, just a very visual way to show you that you still have access to all your data while this drive has failed. Now is it trying to restripe the data to the other drives right it's, now? It's flashing red, green, which means it's, it's, it's self-healing. Now I got to tell you, you don't have to uh, believe my new my new best friend Rod. That is your name, right? It is my uh, name. Yeah, my you name. don't have to believe him. We have had this happen where our drive fails. We each get an email. It tells us the drive fails. We go over, and go okay, and we pull it out and shove in another one of pretty much any size. I Absolutely. mean, you, no matching required, and it just comes right back. It's it's almost fun when it happens. It's like, oh look, it actually works. They're not lying about this. This actually does yeah. work. Scary but fun. Yeah, any drive, any manufacturer, any size, just pop them right in. No, no screws, no carriers. They're going like an old-fashioned uh, VHS cassette. Yeah, it really does. Are you going to yeah, shove it back I'll in? I'll shove there? it back in. There we go. He's going to make it happy by sticking it back in. Pull so he right pulled the in. cover plate off the front and just stuck it in. The little blinky lights actually help quite a bit in this one. Yeah, absolutely. You can see what's going on. You can see it's still working. And you can see which drive has failed. Yeah, so exactly. So if it, if it actually had failed, it would have a red flashing light on it. Now, we also put the uh, SSD accelerator card in on our 5N. Does the 5D also do that? The 5D does have the MSAT accelerator on the bottom, yes. Yeah, and I don't know if that makes a difference because we're comparing it to an FS, but this thing is unbelievably fast. I'm really, really happy over gigabit to the uh, to the 5N on our speed. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the accelerator card does make quite a big difference, so particularly the things that you use very frequently. Yeah, yeah. Now there was something that Ileana wanted us to show on the uh, on the Drobo dashboard, right? What were we going to do there? I forget. Uh, I'm not sure what we wanted to show, but we can show Drobo dashboard real quick. Uh, so this is the management application that we call Drobo dashboard, and that that controls all everything you need to do with your Drobo. And there's really only one question you need to ask yourself 
if you go into uh, settings here, this is the only question. Do you want dual or single drive redundancy? That's really it. Which just means, do you want to be protected against one drive failure or two concurrent hard drive failures? Oh, we should go look at that. <laughs> oh, we've got it one? Okay. That's the hardest question you have to answer to set up a Drobo, which is how important is my data to me. But this is also how you get to the Drobo app. So would you do anything on the, uh, in the Drobo firmware here, would you, or Drobo app, would you do something here in order to enable the MyDrobo service? Yeah, so you, if, it was, if this was a network Drobo, there would be another tab on the left for uh, Drobo apps. You'd go into Drobo apps, you'd install the MyDrobo app, and then whichever apps you wanted. We have uh, Drobo Access, we have Koken, which is a photo app, we have WordPress. So you can just install whatever app you want to run. WordPress? We have WordPress. So you can host a blog or a website on the Drobo. Well, now, is isn't that interesting? So that works on your network attack storage, not on that wouldn't work on the 5D, correct? That's, that's correct. The Drobo 5N or the Drobo B810N. All right. Well, this is really cool. So people want to send you money. Where should they go? Uh, they should go to Drobo.com. And from there, there's a link to all the products. There's uh, lots of explanations there. There's, uh, there's a Drobo capacity calculator where they can play around and move drives in and out to see exactly how much space they need. I love that calculator. I, I, I really do, because we sat there going, okay, how many drives are going to go buy? I've got you know, four one terabyte drives. Well, that's not going to do me enough. So you can keep adding drives and changing the configuration until you can see, am I going to have enough capacity for what it is I want to do? Yeah, it's very cool, very easy to use. And, and also, there's a link to our Drobo store there as well. Definitely a really good, really good UI to that. All right, well, thank you very much. Appreciate you taking time with us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure.